Thanks to support as a channel member, Tim Stoker. Right, Kev Maths tells me I don't think I can win the Bundesliga today, but we might. What we can definitely do is get into the semi-final of the Europa League. Hello, welcome to Club Six, part nine of Non League Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have our second leg of our Champions League quarter final against Galatasaray. And we're also facing Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Since you're last with me, we've just played the one game, Nuremberg, in the league. We beat them 2 0. This is what Bundesliga looks like. Four games to go, I think. Yeah, four games to go. We are four points clear of Leipzig. And we are eight points clear of Bayern Munich. So we are now qualified for the Champions League for next season. We still have to play Leipzig in one of our remaining games. We face them away from home on the penultimate game of the season. It would be nice to have things wrapped up before then. But we are relying on other results to go our way to get things wrapped up before then. But because we've now qualified for the Champions League, the board have given me my budgets for next season. And all, those you, all, of, the, all of you saying... I'd ruined this club's finances. They've given me £133 million to spend and further increased the wage budget. So, should we go and sign Sergio Delgado? What's the worst that could happen? Hey, look, we've still got all this money in the bank. We are loaded. We're back in the Champions League and hopefully we're going to have some silverware to show for it at the end of the season as well. I'm just a very good football manager. I think it's time we just all need to acknowledge I'm very, very good at this game. Ignore that. That doesn't matter. They wanted me to do that. That was the whole point. That's what they brought me in to do. That's why they gave me such a big budget. They wanted to invest that in order to have the results that hopefully we're about to deliver to them. So the game against Galatasaray is up first. This is the team we are sending there to defend our 5-0 lead from the first leg. We've got Diego Henrique in goal. A back four of Locatelli, Stewart, Diego Norberto and John Drury and Idoloff in midfield. Ballo, Schultz and Boding behind Ruben up front. Luis Gustavo has picked up a little bit of a knock in the uh, in the league win over Nuremberg. So Ruben getting a rare start in a big European game. But, you know, it's probably for the best. We want to see how Ruben measures up against a good team because we've talked about this a little bit in previous episodes. He's very much one of those strikers who pads his numbers against the teams that aren't very good. So... I think he's on like 18, 19 goals for the season. It looks like he's come in and been great for his 95 million pound fee that we spent on him. But in reality, whenever we play him against a top team, he kind of goes missing and he gets those goals in clumps against the teams that I could probably get two or three against. So I want to see how he plays in a big game. I know we've already got the 5 0 win, but we are away from home at Galatasaray. It's. Uh, historically a fairly hostile place to go as an away team so if he can put in a performance today grab himself a goal or two then maybe we can focus our efforts elsewhere when it comes to our summer spending uh like a midfielder who can tackle for example that might be a novelty uh ballo continues his run of scoring every time the cameras are on he doesn't do this so much when you're not around but i think he just enjoys ganging up on me with you lot because of the suggestion that maybe he's the one who could have been replaced when Schultz came in. I, You've made your point now. I wasn't talking to you, Siri. But you've made your point now, Ballo. I'm not going to replace you. You're clearly very good at football. You don't need to keep scoring every game. I don't mind it. I don't really appreciate the way you run over to the bench and say, I told you so, really, really loud. That's my thing, saying I told you so. Like I told everyone so that I was doing the right thing with my transfers at this football club. Told you so. Look how good look how good we're doing. A European semi-final. Probably going to win the Bundesliga. Probably going to win the Europa League. I mean, we're, we're qualifying for the Champions League twice over this year. I told you so. But then he told me so. So maybe Ballo is the, is the true hero around here. It's probably going to be a coin flip between Ballo and temporary Kev, who's got the biggest cult following in the comments section as things stand. So... Remains 1-0 on the night, 6-0, of course, on aggregate. Uh, we're probably going to start freshening some uh, some legs up in the next couple of minutes. We'll let this highlight play out, and then we'll make some substitutions, get some of the more tired players off. They've come here. They've done the job they needed to do. We've got this big game at the weekend against Bayer Leverkusen, which is must win. They're a team that are trying to get into the Champions League in their own right, and we, of course, 
want to be in a situation where we can go to Leipzig at the end of the season, not really caring about what happens as a result in that game. Um, so in order to get there, I mean, that's two terrible pieces of defending. John trying to head a ball he was never going to get to. And then Diego Norberto, who is just sliding away Homer Simpson reversing into the bush style because his contribution there was terrible. I understand why he's just <laughs> fleeing. It's been disallowed and now he's going to wander back into position. Fair enough. Terrible defending from both of them. We got away with it. Right, we are going to bring on Thomas Muller, not that one, to play right back. And we're going to take off Boning. And I think, you know what? We're going to play Aranua out on the right wing because what's the worst that can happen? We'll give him a little tryout up there. And then for the final change, we push Drury forward. We bring Stubaluk on in midfield. And all eyes on Aranua playing as a right winger. Who thought the left back we brought into Norwich all those years ago that you all criticised me because all he could do is run. He's literally just a bag of physical attributes and nothing else. But I guess that direct running and speed can be just as effective further forward on the right-hand side as it can be from starting slightly further back on the left, I guess. Let's see it in action so that we know for sure. I do wonder who started playing him on the right wing because I'm fairly confident when he was at Norwich, it wasn't a position that he was trained to play. So... Either it was something that Pep Guardiola did after I left Norwich, or it's something he picked up at Bayern Munich. But either way, it does seem like a very strange use of his rather unique talents. Uh, we have conceded a goal here. 1-1, one, one, 76 minutes on the clock. I'm not going to get too stressed out about it, because obviously we're going to go through anyway because of how well we played in the first leg. I am a little bit wary, though, that this is... Still pretty much a full-strength team. We've made a couple of substitutions, but the last thing we wanted uh, was a, a defeat of any kind to mess up our run of good form on this running. But Ballo is there again, proving his point. Again, 2-1. Ballo, of course, gets both goals. I'm, I'm even coming round to thinking he's a bit of a hero at this point because he just keeps doing it. And like I say, it's only when you like hear. It's only when I'm talking. It's like he, he hears the sound of my voice. And it just acts as an excellent motivator for him. But when I'm not there, he's not that bothered. When it's just me sat in silence in my underpants, playing the in-betweeny bits. And um, we've got the ball through here, but Ruben not able to chase it down. A brief interlude as I rush to the door to receive a parcel. And we're back into the game. And here is Eranua. And that's why you don't play him on the right wing. I mean, he was his positioning was spot on. But uh, we all know from years gone by that the trick to Aaron Ur is to not really ask too much for him. You just want him to run really fast down the left-hand side, get to about here, and then he just kind of keeps running along the goal line and then eventually runs out of space to run and just kind of pushes it across the face of goal for someone to tap in. That's That's always been his party trick, and you can't really do it when you're being asked to play a little bit more centrally, like he's going to be playing as an inverted winger, if any, or an inside forward. If anything, he'd probably be better off playing as a winger on the left-hand side because then he could do his usual job. That's a lovely pass from him, though. Maybe I've been a little bit too hard on him. Ballo getting in, looking for the hat-trick, but unfortunately wasn't able to get the shot away. The goalkeeper collects comfortably, and here's Aaron Ur again. Running, I mean, I thought for a second there he was going to head the wrong way. He found himself facing back towards our goal on what would have looked at him like the left-hand side of the pitch. I thought he was going to switch into his default mode, but luckily he figured out what was going on. It's smarter than I give him credit for, that boy, clearly. But there is your confirmation that we are in the semi-final of the Europa League. The question now, of course, is who are we going to play in the semi-final? Oh, we're going to... Uh, Dortmund to play nice. We'll see about that. We're going to try and win. Goodness. Oh, we're playing against Nice as well. Lovely stuff. Oh, dad jokes. Oh, you've got to love a dad joke. Right. When's that going to be? Either side of Leipzig. So I think what I'm probably going to do... What shall we do? Do we... What I'm contemplating at the moment is whether I show you, continue to show you Leverkusen now, which I don't think we can win the league, but it is a big game. Or do I show you the first leg of Nice and then tomorrow do Leipzig in the second leg of Nice? I think I need to show you the Leverkusen game because it is a potential banana skin. And then we'll uh, we'll figure tomorrow out. Tomorrow, that can be future Kev's problem. Let's go play a football match.
So here we go then, shuffling things around a little bit for the Leverkusen game, just checking the actual fitness level of some of these guys who are coming in. Um, we've got a lot of tired legs off the back of Galatasaray, so um, some shuffling has been done. Stuart um, is back, but can only play 75 minutes. So Norberto goes out to left back, Locatelli right back. We'll worry about that as the game goes on. It'll all be fine. Cloves and Stubaluk are going to play in midfield, although Cloves can only play... In fact, no, he's fine. He can play the full game. And Luis Gustavo is fit to start up front as well as we look to get some fitness back into him. Obviously, as the game goes on, those three players who aren't fully fit are likely to all come off and be replaced with, goodness me, what's going on outside? Motorbikes going past by the sounds of it. I mean, I am recording this on Good Friday in the UK, so it is a, uh, I mean, obviously I'm in the UK, that's where I live. Um, so it is a bank holiday in the UK. That's the bit I was trying to get to. So I guess people have taken it upon themselves to just ride around in their motorbikes. Luis Gustavo in their motorbikes? On their motorbikes, Luis Gustavo has just scored. It's 1-0. We're going to the referee's man in his ear, and the goal has been given. Was that a 30th of the season? Because Scott, no, it's not. It's 28th. It says right there, 28th goal of the season for Luis Gustavo. Um, and that, as it stands currently, leaves us six points clear at the top of the league. Leipzig currently drawing 0-0 at home to Cologne. This is going to be an interesting one if they drop points. That's not, I mean, that that's not ideal. I said a potential banana skin. I didn't actually want any banana skinning to be done. Um, they've beaten us at our own game. A set piece, a corner. A far post in swinger, Henrique left flapping a little bit and uh, we are pegged back to 1-1. It's still 0-0 between Leipzig and Cologne. We don't really care what Bayern Munich are doing. They're 2-0 up against 10-man Freiburg. They're going to rattle in some goals today, but they're so far behind. I don't think it really matters what they're doing, but it does matter what we do. We really need the three points here because, like I say, I want to go into that Leipzig game knowing that it doesn't really matter. To be fair, if they draw as well today, we still find ourselves potentially heading into that situation. But all of a sudden, they're 2-0 up. Just like that, they're 2-0 up. The, the gap is down to two points. And remember, we face Leipzig away from home the game after next in the league. This is not how we want... If we don't win Bundesliga from here, I'm going to be a little sad about it. So we really do need to find our winning goal somewhere in this final 20 minutes. So we're going to make those pre-arranged changes as well. So Ruben can come on for Gustavo. Uh, Stuart is going to come off for Erinua. And for our final change, it was Cloves who had to come off, wasn't it? Although to be fair, these three are looking much more tired. So I'm actually going to bring on Drury for Schultz. Um, just as the, uh, the, mo the best player sat on our bench. Let's get him on and see if we can... Uh, Grab a goal. Ballow and Boning have been terrible today. A 5.9 and a 6.4. I've never known Ballow play so poorly. Maybe we'll replace him with Schultz, eh? Wouldn't that be a thing? Uh, there's Drury. Lovely pass through to Boning and it's chaos at the back. And, I mean, it's led to a goal. It is the most absurd goal you'll see on YouTube this year, I think. Boning just being a nuisance. But, I mean... <laughs> I'll take it. I'm, as, I'm absolutely going to take it. It's a lovely pass from Drury. Uh, all credit goes to Drury for the chaos-causing pass. And it was a good run from Boning, and it has led to us being 2-1 up. That extends our lead back out to four points at the top of the league, and that is crucial because it once again allows us the opportunity to go to Leipzig and lose and still win the league. That is one of the most important results of the season. Lovely stuff. Tomorrow, we should be winning the Bundesliga and booking a spot into the Europa League final, if we can find a way to squeeze that all into one episode. Oh, oh, it's all getting tense. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.